Fresh Kid Z, Fresh Kid C, yes, Fresh Kid P, Fresh Kid T. Oh yeah, we back. Oh, and Zafu got away. Yeah, jokes. <laughs> All right, hey guys, what's up? And I got a new update. Ah, uh, shoot, I don't know what day it is. It's like a hundred and. 149, 149 I believe, yeah, 100. I think so, 100, yeah, 49 probably, I got four bags of new things, some which have more than one type of coral, and I got a, like a, a tube worm, uh, I don't know what type it is, but it's like a cocoa worm or something, and I got a pretty ugly thing it's on, but it's got like I think four different types of mushrooms or something like that. And then there's a small polyp I was just about to put it in and I thought I should film this. But yeah, so I have had more water in here since I upgraded the heater since the other one wasn't working too well. And yeah, I think it's better that I have more water since it'll, uh, more water volume so that's always good and oh yeah I got some two four LED things as you can see it's shining it has two white and two blue and the two blue ones it, it like aims it so it's not all the way closed right now I'll close it real quick but I on this side it doesn't really do anything it makes the coral look a little bit more green, more green. on this side you can kind of tell it's like a lot bright, brighter green. Yeah. So and without it, so it looks a lot cooler, I think. But when the other lights are on, aren't on around the tank. Oh yeah, and I, the back is off. I gotta clean it off. I got some water behind it, so I had to take it off and clean it. Oh, I switched it to blue, and it makes the whole tank look a lot brighter which I kind of like and I changed that I added an end cap with a whole bunch of holes drilled in it since what the heck clown is being retarded my clowns have been acting really stupid because I'm pretty sure they're like switching sexes or something it was kind of funny because they like the black one went up to it and then like twitched like they're both acting weird <laughs> Hopefully it's not bad, but they've been acting great. I've been looking, no spots or anything. Everything looks good. Even though it looks like they're scratching and stuff. But I think everything's good. So, yeah. I will update it once I get the corals in and everything. Alright, peace. Alright, so... I accidentally hit my torch coral so that closed up, but I got uh, like a cocoa worm or something. It's got like two heads, I don't know if that means there's two worms, but I was putting it in there, I thought the, sh the tubes were like hard, and they aren't. It's kind of, it feels weird, because like it would go back in its tube, and it would like, felt like they would just pop. It scared me a little bit the first time I did that. And then this has... I think I figured like four mushrooms on it. A green one. It's that in the store looks really good. When it has like light on it. Since like only the top corner has light on it, it doesn't look the best, but it still looks cool. And I'm guessing it's a blue one. And there's like a red one on the back. And there's like a really tiny one. Right at the end of the tube leaning off the green one. The little dot is a Another mushroom. Looks like it might be blue or like purple. And it also has a lot of coralline algae, which is pretty good. Maybe the more coralline algae, the better. So hopefully it'll spread. And it's got a ton of tube worms on it, which is good. And I got two. I don't know what type of coral they are. They're two. It's like a two-headed polyp. When it opens more, it looks. It's a pretty big head, and it looks nice. I like it a lot. And um, up there, you can't really see them that well, but you see the two heads. I'll try to point to it. Right at the tip of my finger, those two heads. It's, uh, hold on, I'm going to look at it outside of the camera and tell you what colors it is. I think it's like 
blackish, darkish green outside and a light green inside. And there's uh, about one, two, three, four, almost five, six, six and a half polyps, no, five and a half polyps. And a ton of tube worms also. So yeah, my snail better not knock that over because I had to like bury it with some sand a little bit. And now I can't see my uh, coral banded shrimp very well, but it never came out during the day. So hopefully once I get bigger, once it, the coral banded shrimp gets bigger, then it'll come out more. Oh yeah, and the fire shrimp, it moved locations to back there, which is cool because I can see it. And two of my bumblebee snails, and three mushrooms right there. Like I know I might have a lot of mushrooms, but I like them. I kind of want them to take over that rock. It's the sole purpose of that rock. And the blue one's not very big, but I got a, like a cool looking different green one. And then the red one, it's a tiny red one. I just mostly got it for the green one and yeah. So hopefully everything does well. Hopefully none of the water had ick on it or anything. Oh yeah, and my clowns. <clears throat> It was freaking out because I definitely think they're one of them's changing sex, or they must both be. But they both have some nip marks on the bottom fin. I don't know if you can see them. And I think that one, like, I don't know, it has a little scratch on the side. They're flipping out. They haven't been hanging out as much as they usually have been, so that leads me to believe that they're changing sexes or determining who's a female. I think the orange one might be the female because that one's the biggest change. It's I'd say a, about a little bit bigger, maybe. So that's probably why they've been fighting a little bit, and that's why they've been tweaking out, because they'd swim up to each other, and then they'd just start freaking out. Also, and along with the corals, I bought Be Ionic. Because I, find, uh, I recently, well, yesterday, I saw a video of New York Stilo. He had it, explained it more in detail, because I was already looking at it, like, couple days ago, I was thinking about buying it, and he basically made my decision, which, yeah, it was nice, and then I bought some more phytochrome, that's what I feed my corals, I'm going to refrigerate it, and I'll just pour some more into this, so then I'll have this refrigerated, see that was pretty expensive, this was 20 bucks, but it seems like it keeps my corals healthy, so yeah. Also, I started adding more calcium because it was a little low, and the Catomorpha is a lot greener. It looks a lot healthier, so yeah. Thanks for that comment, New York Stilo, helping me out. And I added a fan, and the fan basically keeps it cool all day. Like, it was probably a hundred where I live, outside, and probably about like... I don't know, maybe like 90 in my room or so, and kept the temperature down. I turned it off now because it evaporates a lot, and the temperature went up maybe like half a degree, but it's basically at what I have it. It's cool outside now, so it'll be about the same all day. And I gotta put the blue background on. It's getting kind of... Yeah, the tube looks pretty ugly, so hopefully I could probably about next week or so, I'll probably take those mushrooms off and put them on like a couple pieces of rocks. I don't know. There's three big ones. I'll put it on three rocks and I'll just put the tube back there or something. Oh yeah. Or I might put in my sump so the feather dusters, they start like spores like spread through the water and stuff. And then same with the coralline algae. So coralline algae will be swept over down there. So yeah, that's my tank and you can see it's opened up maybe a little bit more. Uh, yeah. So it looks good. And that's about it. Alright, peace.